Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming, and uh, as promised, here is another real solar system video. This is a robotic mission to Deimos. Deimos is, as you know, the smallest moon of Mars, and is also the outermost, with the other one being Phobos. This uh, video was, well, recorded before um, Realism Overhaul was released, and uh, I am now using that, but that was before after this obviously so this one is recorded using mostly stock which means that the you know the fuels way too much the engines way too much and so on so it is harder and uh, due to lack of KW rocketry I have this weird rocket I actually had the fairing destroy my stages once so I had to be careful this time but we have this uh yeah this weird kind of cylindrical shaped rocket uh, I don't recommend shaping it like that. It's not nearly as efficient, but uh, it was kind of, it was still two-stage for the orbit, but anyway, um, so our mission to Deimos here is, well, let's talk about Deimos. So uh, Deimos, first of all, I visited Phobos a few times in old videos. If you want to go see those, um, they'll be in the same playlist as this one, but Phobos is about seven times more massive than Deimos, and I actually sent a manned lander to Deimos. But then Deimos ate the lander, it was glitched in the point .9 version. If you landed on it, the surface would absorb your ship, and then your ship would explode. So Deimos was essentially a Kraken. Thankfully, that is now fixed in 1.0. Deimos works, you can land on it, it's perfectly fine. So Deimos has an escape velocity of approximately 5.556 meters per second. This means that the same speed that an object will gain on being dropped on Earth less than a second, because after a second it's, it's accelerated um, up to approximately 9.8 meters per second. So less than that, you're going to have that velocity would cause you to escape Deimos's gravity. The surface gravity is 3 millimeters per second squared, so every second your velocity increases by 3 millimeters per second. It is very, very, very low. The mean radius is about 6.2 kilometers, uh, but it is not spherical. It's more smooth than Phobos, but it still has some craters. It also doesn't have the giant Stickney crater that um, Phobos has. So as you see right there, I kind of skipped ahead. Um, but uh, there was just a lot of boring part to this video. So it orbits Mars in a little over a day on Earth Day. Um, pretty circular orbit, and it's very similar to uh, certain types of asteroids, just like Phobos is. Uh, Deimos is less of a mission target for future Mars missions uh, in real life than Phobos is because, because Phobos is so close. Um, you can actually get shards of Mars that occasionally, like dust that gets picked up and put onto Phobos. So you can actually get Mars service samples without going to Mars, and Deimos doesn't have that issue. Deimos doesn't have that, so um, it is a little less desirable. So what our probe was, it was entirely liquid fueled, no electric engines. We had a little transfer stage which got jets jettisoned just a minute ago, and our final engine was an uh, ant engine with uh, the actual probe, so we had some batteries for power, and on the side, instead of landing legs, you don't really need them because of how uh, well, the gravity is our SAS will keep us up, and solar panels provide plenty of power for that. Now, uh, we're pretty far from Mars, as you can see, but Deimos service gravity means I was just using these new harpoons from Kerbal Attachment System. Now, uh, those were intended, they were like the uh, fillet probe from the Comet 67P landing. The harpoons just stick in the ground, and the probe stays there. It, it didn't need landing lugs. I mean, I assume they'd be nice, but. I feel like KSP needs more landing leg diversity. I would honestly feel like that would be high priority parts, I wish, because a lot of them just look kind of ugly compared to real life ones, and also they would weigh more because they have engines, and you don't necessarily need engines, and we also need some small ones for probes. So uh, yeah, just uh, my complaint there. The only issue we have with Dimos right now is that the texture is kind of low quality no matter how high you get it, and I assume that's just an issue with it being a small body, and we also have the weird like spike on top of it that's just a texture glitch with uh, small objects I had that happen on sticks as well oh yeah progress on my pack um, 
It's so expansion pack for RSS. All the Pluto moons work, those will be in it. Uh, they'll get updated with real textures probably in August or so when we actually have pictures, although sticks and Kerberos will still have terrible pictures, so we won't really be able to do that. And then um, I was going to add Uranus's moons, but uh, such as Oberon, Umbriel, Ariel, Miranda, and Titania are the big ones. The small ones worked out excellently. Um, great textures. That right there is just a test fire, the harpoon, what you're seeing. And um, the issue was that the textures on Space Engine were absolutely broken. They were completely wrong. Sometimes they didn't even work, and that's what I use for textures. So those are pretty much the biggest moons there, um, the big ones. And without those, I don't really want to even add Uranus's moons, so I'm going to do Neptune instead. Uh, I should be able to add almost all of them with 4K textures, which should be pretty cool. Uh, we've got moons like Proteus, Nereid, Naiad. There's a moon that orbits farther from Neptune than Mercury does from the Sun, so that's pretty interesting. And here we are above the Deimos surface, so ordinarily you would just ascend, but because you can't time warp properly and I don't like waiting, I uh, actually had extra fuel, so I just pointed towards Deimos, did a slight burn, and then we descended towards the surface, and then I'll just break again before we get there. These harpoons have an effective range of about 50 meters, that's their maximum length. However, I waited a little longer than that, about approximately 30 meters before deployment. And uh, the harpoons, we had a, well you'll see in a minute, the, we had a little malfunction. One, uh, initially none of them stuck, and then we had one stick in the ground and the other one didn't. And I actually detached the second one because it was just flailing everywhere and causing problems. So, uh, Deimos, I actually landed in kind of a canyon here, so it was shielded from sunlight more than it normally would be the probe, but thankfully I have backup batteries for that. And, uh, there is a nice view of Mars. So, uh, Deimos is tidally locked, so that means that this face of Deimos will always be facing Mars. And, uh, that's gonna be my last video, last mission for stock real solar system, which means no realism overhaul. The future ones will be realism overhaul. Right now, I haven't been playing much on that. I've been doing other stuff, and what I have been doing on KSP has been working on the expansion pack, so I'm planning to release that, as well as review video for that pack next. So, that will be the next thing that comes out here, most likely, and it, I'm looking forward to it. It should be pretty fun to make that video. So anyway, uh, there is our final landing with the lander making its descent and touchdown. See, the surface didn't absorb it. And there's a working harpoon, just hits the ground. And there's a malfunctioning harpoon, so we're going to throw that off. Zoom out, there's Deimos, there's Mars. Thanks for watching.